Welcome to another video from MorphLab. Today we are going to learn a way to find formulas for a wide range of problems. Reference for this video is an article published in 1986 in the Mathematics Teacher magazine, The Method of Finite Differences, Some Applications. I'll put a link down below. What is the number of squares of all different sizes in this chessboard? What about the number of triangles in this triangular checkers board? What if you have a 100 by 100 chess board and you want to know how many squares of different sizes are there? To find formulas for problems like these, we first investigate some simple formulas and the resulting sequence of numbers that you get from those formulas. We we'll start by a simple formula with just one variable a n plus b and we change the value of n from 1 to 2 to 3 and so on for n equal to 1 you get a plus b when n is 2 you get 2a plus b and so on now let's calculate the difference between each two consecutive terms as you can see you get a constant sequence after just one level of calculating the difference each one degree formula ends with a constant sequence after doing it just once. Here is an example. 2n plus 3 is the formula. This is the sequence you get when you change the n from 1 to 2 to 3 and so on. And the difference between each two number is 2. One level of calculating the difference gives you a constant sequence. Now let's do this again with a two degree formula, a n square plus b n plus c. If you plug n equal to one and then equal to two and then three, you get a sequence like this. You can check it for yourself. Now if you calculate the difference between consecutive numbers, you don't get a constant sequence. What you get is that the difference between the first and the second is 3a plus b, then the difference becomes 5a plus b, then it becomes 7a plus b, and so on. But if you do it again for this new sequence, you get a constant sequence of 2a. The difference between 3a plus b and 5a plus b is 2a, and the same for all the others. So you can see that a second degree equation ends with a constant sequence after two level of differentiating. Here is an example. 3n squared minus 2n minus 4. It's a two degree formula. If you plug n equal to 1 and then 2 and then 3, you get a sequence like this. The difference between consecutive numbers is 7 and then it's 13, 19, 25 and so on. The difference between minus 3 and 4 is 7. The difference between 4 and 17 is 13, and so on. Now, if you do it again, you get a constant sequence of 6. Because the difference between 7 and 13 is 6, 13 and 19, the difference is 6, and so on. Now, let's say I give you this sequence, and you want to find the formula that generates this sequence. You start by calculating the differences. This is the first level. It's not constant. So let's do it again. Okay, after two levels of differentiating, it is a constant sequence. That means the original formula is a two degree formula. Let's bring the template for the two degree formula. If you compare the first columns, you can see that A should be half, b is also half and c is zero that means the formula is half n squared plus half n or n times n plus one divided by two and as you can see this formula generates the original sequence we had if you plug n equal to one you get one times two divided by two or the result is one for n equal to two you get two times three divided by two or 3 for n equal to 3 you get 6 and so on and you found the formula that generates the sequence 
Now let's get back to the original problem and use this method to find how many squares of all different sizes are in this chessboard. Start by generating the sequence of answers. For a chessboard of one by one, you just have one square. For a two by two chessboard, you have five squares because you have four small ones and one big one, which is two by two. A three by three chessboard has 14 squares because nine of them are a small one by one square. Four of them are two by two, and one of them is three by three. In total, you have 14 squares. And you just continue. For a four by four chessboard, you have 30 squares, and for the five by five chessboard, you have 55, and so on. So this is the sequence, and you want to find the formula for this sequence. The first thing to do is to calculate the differences. As you can see, the differences are not constant. Let's do it again. Again, they are not constant. Let's do it for the third time. Now you see that the differences are constant. That means you get the constant difference after three levels. So the original formula should be a three degree formula. Let's keep the first column here as reference and see what happens to the formula after you differentiate it. Now, this is the template for a third degree formula. Comparing the first column, what you can see is that A should be one third, B should be half, C should be one sixth, and D is zero. You can just find it by yourself. If you plug these values into the formula, this is what you get. One third n cubed plus half n squared plus one sixth n. And that simplifies to n times n plus one times two n plus one over six. This formula generates the sequence that gives you the total number of squares in any size of chessboard. For example, if you have n equal to 8, you get 204 squares. That's the total number of squares of all different sizes in a regular chessboard. If you have n equal to 100, meaning if you have a 100 by 100 chessboard, you get 338,350 squares, which is just a matter of seconds to calculate using this formula. Now let's use the same method to calculate the number of triangles of different sizes in this figure. First of all, we call this uh, 8 by 8 because each side of the triangle is divided into 8 segments. The number of triangles for different sizes of the checkers board is this sequence. For example, if you have a 3 by 3 checkers board, you have 13 triangles because you have nine small ones and then you have three more triangles with uh, side two and you have one big one with side three in total you have 13 triangles okay now let's calculate the differences this is the first level of differences it's not constant so we are going to do it again after the second time, it's not constant either. So we are going to do it one more time. It's not constant again. One more time. It looks like it's now constant, but it's not because it changes the sign. So it seems we have a problem. What if we look at only the odd terms here? Let's repeat the process only for the odd terms and see what happens. If you repeat the process only for the odd terms, you get a constant sequence after the third time. That means the formula you are looking for is a third degree formula. 
and if you just do the same way we did for the other problem you get something like this this formula gives you the result for the odd terms so it seems for different values of n we need to separate the odd terms and even terms and do the process separate for each one of them now for the odd terms you just found the formula but remember that the value of n again changes from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4. It's the first term, second term, third term in the odd terms sequence. You repeat the process again for the even terms and you come up with a separate formula. For the checkers board that we had, n was 8. That means it's the fourth term of the even numbers and that gives us 170 triangles and even if you have a very large checkers board use the related formula with the corresponding value of n and you just find the number you are looking for and that is how you find the formula for a large group of problems in geometry or mathematics i hope you enjoyed this video Check out the channel for more videos like this and thanks for watching.